Back on Sports Live with WWE Hall of Fame announcer Jim Ross. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you. So your book Slobber Knocker is out. It's 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 selling very well. Yeah, Amazon. Yeah. Basically, I, they can't keep. And you'll have copies at your show tomorrow night. I, right? I will. Thank you. I will have copies of our at our show tomorrow night at Zanies, and uh, I'm signing them. So if they want me to sign it, I'll be happy to sign it, personalize it. That's the neat thing about the VIP thing. Everything can be personalized and right. no rush. It's a it's a fun fun night. I want to talk about your podcast mm -hmm. because in the world of wrestling podcasts, everybody's got one. Jericho, <laughs> Steve Austin, you know, you mm -hmm. name it, they all have podcasts. But yours is one of the most popular of all the wrestling podcasts. Tell us about that and how people can listen. Well, it, it, as a matter of fact, uh, while you and I were sitting here talking, it just dropped. The new show just dropped. Nice. So it's out it's out there right now. As I mentioned earlier, I. Uh, Interviewed Ric Flair for the show today. Wow! Uh, when I, after I arrived from uh, Oklahoma, and I uh, had a great talk with Nate. It's just so revealing, and you know, I said we mentioned earlier. You know, a year ago today, man, hmm. he had a 20% chance to live. I know. I thought we're. I thought we're gonna lose. Yeah. Him. The family was called called in. I mean, it was yeah. dead serious. No pun intended. But whatsoever. he kicked out in triple he, he typical Ric Flair fashion. He did kick out. He got his shoulder up, as they say. Yeah. And uh, so uh, it's uh, on. You know, everywhere you get your audio. If you're, a lot of people, podcasts are popular right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Especially I'll, wrestling podcasts. Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, wherever you hear your audio. And uh, it's free. And it's worth every darn penny you pay for it. Too. That's right. All right, we've got about a minute and a half left in this segment. I know you wanted to talk some college football. Obviously, here in the Southeast, SEC football is huge. You're an Oklahoma guy. You love your suitors. Mm -hmm. You know, I really think Baker Mayfield going number one overall to the Cleveland Browns is good for Baker and good for the Cleveland Browns. It's good for the Big 12, too, yeah. quite frankly. Uh, Baker Mayfield is a – nobody's going to believe this that doesn't know it. Is a class kid. When my wife got killed, Becker Mayfield gave me the hardest, longest hug hmm. in, in June uh, that I'd ever had, and he was crying because he knew I was tore up. Yeah. Before every ball game, I got that same hug in the end zone. Him saying, "I got your back, Jr." Yeah. He told me that all season. I got your back, Jr. So he's got a heart. He's got. He cares. He's a little bit of. He's a little feisty. Oh yeah. He's a little Brett Favre. Got a little edge about. to him. Oh, yeah. A little, yeah. To him. a little wiggle to the wall. Yeah. So, but he's going to do great in Cleveland, I think. And they have hope now. Yeah. And nothing else. The Browns have hope. Mm -hmm. And that's good for the league. Absolutely. So. All right. One more. One more segment with uh, the legendary Jim Ross as we wrap up here on Sportsline. Stay with us.